what does availability means when you design a system so basically availability means all the nodes or devices are available for the operations in a distributed system so when you send out the request to any of the nodes uh, the non falling node will return the reasonable response within a reasonable amount of time with no error or timeout that is the meaning of availability in simple words the idea is to make your products services and tools available to your customers and employees at any time from anywhere using any device with an internet connection so that is the basic meaning of availability and when the system is not available that is the downtime of the system so downtime is the time during which a computer or it system is unavailable offline or it is not operational so in this video i'll talk about the concept of availability and high availability and downtime usually we design a system for high availability for example when we say the design target is four nines it means the service should be up 99.99 percent of the time this also means the services can only be down for almost 53 minutes per year i'll explain the relationship between the nine structure and possible downtime on the next slide the important thing to note that is the availability only guarantees that we will receive a response it doesn't guarantee is the most up to date so availability is different from integrity in terms of data and responses here i have given the table of the nines structure one nine is 90% availability two nines means 99% of availability which is generally used for conventional servers Three nines means 99.9% .9 of availability, which generally is used for public cloud services. Four nines is 99.99%, .99 which is generally used for high availability clusters. Five nines means 99.999%, .99 which is generally used for virtual fault tolerance systems. Six nines means 99.9999% of availability, which is generally used for continuous availability. And the further seven nines, eight nines, and nine nines structures are generally used for critical nodes, which are related to financial clearances, services, national security, space programs, likewise. So now let us see how this structure of nines translate into downtime. One nine that is 90% of availability means the system will be down for 36 and half days per year. That comes down to almost two hours, 40 minutes per day, which is a huge downtime. So if you are running non-essential services with very low usage, you can think of 90% of availability. Two nines is 99% of availability means the system will be down for three and half days per year. That comes down to approximately 15 minutes per day. Generally, the conventional servers has 99% of availability. Likewise, three nines, which is 99.9% .9 of availability, which means the system will be down for almost nine hours per year. And that comes down to approximately two minutes per day. Four nines is like system will be down for 53 minutes per year and which comes down to nine seconds per day. Likewise, if you until nine nines, nine nines is like with yearly downtime of 32 milliseconds, which approximately daily downtime of just 87 microseconds. Apart from these nine nines uh, structures, uh, business can, businesses can also opt for other availability patterns as per the requirements like 95%, 97%, 98% of availability or uptime. Now the important question is how to design for high availability. With the nines structure, even with nine nines also, there will be a downtime of 32 milliseconds per year. And having dependency on a single device or node is always risky. So to achieve high availability, 100% availability, continuous availability, we need to plan for redundancy to achieve the high availability. So we can achieve the redundancy with three basic options like hot storage, warm storage and cold storage. Hot storage is data that is accessed frequently and this could be the data that is being actively used by the employee customers and it needs to be stored on fast storage so that it can be accessed quickly. Warm storage is data that is accessed less frequently. This could be data that is used for reporting or analytics purpose. 
it doesn't need to be accessed as quickly as hot data so it can be stored on slightly slower capacity optimized storage and the last option is cold storage it is the data that is rarely used rarely accessed and this could be the data that is archived for compliance reasons or maybe because of contractual requirements and it can be stored on even slower cheap and deep storage devices so for high availability we can use these options as primary and secondary nodes or devices here i will be discussing about how we can turn a single node product inventory into a double node architecture with high availability so the first option is primary backup structure so the backup node is just a standby and the data is replicated from primary to backup when the primary fails we need to manually switch to the backup node so the backup node might be a waste of hardware resources at other times so the second option is primary secondary this architecture looks similar to primary backup architecture but the secondary node can take read request to balance the reading load due to latency when replicating data from primary to secondary the data read from secondary may be inconsistent with the primary so that we have to take care of the third option is primary primary both nodes acts as a primary node and both nodes can handle read and write operations and the data is replicated between the two nodes this type of architecture increases the throughput but it has limited use cases for example if both nodes need to be updated at the same time for the same product and the same final state might be unpredictable in that case so we have to use this architecture with a bit caution if we deploy the node in the cloud which has 90% of availability that node architecture will increase your availability from 90% to 99% so even with the 90% availability of the node on the cloud we can try to achieve 99% of availability with this double node architecture 